thrown by Four Star. Grand Texas was a long way from Boston. And Thaddeus Hobbs house was miles away from town. <laughs> expected a brass band welcome, but there was no one to even take care of my horse. And yet I had a feeling something or someone was watching me. It was a strange home for a wealthy man, barren, run-down, desolate. And as I moved toward the front door, I had a premonition that my life would never be the same again. From out of the west, Dick Powell, Lane Gray Theater. Tonight's star, Joan Crawford. John Baylor, isn't it? Yes. I, I heard you right in. We don't have many visitors, but I would... We were expecting you. Did your father get my telegram? Oh, yes. I, I'm sorry. Won't you please come in? Thank you. I'm Sarah Hobbs. It's a long ride out from town, but... But I imagine you take distances out here more casually than we do in the East. I've never become accustomed to it. See? When you closed that front door, I had the odd feeling we left Texas outside. It's almost as though I were home again. Won't you sit down, please? Thank you. Yeah, are you from Boston, Mr. Baylor? Cambridge, just across the river. And please call me John. You know, ever since your telegram arrived, I've had the feeling of waiting for an old friend. Perhaps, John, that's because I, I, I was born in the East, too. Oh? Boston? No, in Dedham. Not too far away. I can still remember the big elm trees in front of our house. There are no elms here. Well, someday you must pay us a visit. That would be nice. It gets terribly lonely here. I'll show you all the elms in Cambridge. I'd love that. But I don't suppose I ever will. You see, my mother is buried here, and... Well, I, I doubt if my father will ever leave. Well, perhaps I can persuade him. At least for a short visit. You and your sister. My sister? Yes, Melanie. Father's waiting. I shouldn't have kept you. He hasn't been well. We had his bed brought down to the study. I'll be in the kitchen making some fresh coffee. Perhaps before you go, you'll have some with me, John? I'd like that, sir. Come in. Good morning, sir. I'm John Baylor. You don't look a bit like your father. Amos Baylor was the shortest man in the class when we went to Boston Latin. He's grown some since then, mostly around the middle. He still speaks very fondly of you, sir. We've gone separate ways since those school years and have other problems. You didn't mind coming? No. Father would have come himself, but he's getting a little too old for traveling. I understand that. Sarah told me you'd been ill. I'm dying. Oh, I know I... I didn't write that in my letter to your father. As your doctor? I don't need a doctor to tell me what I know. Perhaps a specialist. I can wire my father. No. Sit down. 
I want you to draw up my will. Make it legal and binding. I want to sign it tomorrow. Uh, oh. It'll pass. It's my, my statement. Power of attorney. I signed it after I knew you were coming. I want to leave everything to Sarah. What about your other daughter, Melanie? I want you to sell this place, convert my other holdings, invest in securities that'll provide for Sarah as long as she lives. You have other property? See Paul Overland at the bank in town. He, he has a list. Yes, sir. I'm tired now. Please go. You must be... Melanie. I'm John Baylor. Yes, I know. You're different from what I imagined. Younger. And much taller. I like tall men. Where's Sarah? gone out. That's strange. She asked me to stay for coffee. <laughs> That's like Sarah. May I offer you sherry? No, thank you. I've, I've got some business to attend to for your father. Can't it wait? It's nice to have visitors. It gets terribly lonely here. That's what Sarah said. Did she? I'm sorry, but I really must get back to town. It was very nice meeting you, Melanie. John. It was nice meeting you, too. Thank you. You'll find most of Mr. Hobbs' assets and liabilities listed here. It'll take some time to liquidate all his holdings because Besides his large interest in this bank, Mr. Hobbs also owns the hotel and considerable other real estate. I had no idea. Apparently he had some money when he came out here and made good use of it with his native Yankee shrewdness. You don't think much of Thaddeus Hobbs, do you? I don't know him, Mr. Baylor. Nobody knows him. And his daughters? Most unusual girls, both of them. You take the delicate one. Sarah, a real lady. Nothing much for her to look forward to in life now, with a dying father and a sister like that other one. Melanie? Well, I try to stay away from gutter gossip, Mr. Baylor. Thank you for your help.
Aren't you going to read it? You drew it up exactly as I told you? Just the way you said. Well, then. Uh, Mr. Hobbs, you've left everything to Sarah. Don't you think some provision should be made for Melanie? Yes. What about Melanie, Father? John, you'd better go now. No, John. I'm sure Father has some very interesting things to tell you about me. Haven't you, Father? John, please go now. Good day, sir. Why did you send him away? Go back to your room. No, not anymore. I'll never be locked in again. I told you to go to your room. You're ashamed of me, aren't you? That's why you sent him away. That's not true. You've kept me away from everyone who's ever come into this house. It's always been for the best. That's what Mother used to say. She was ashamed of me too, wasn't she? She made you leave Dedham because of me. Please go to your room. You think I don't know about the will? Leaving everything to Sarah. You don't know what you're saying. Leave it to her. I don't need Sarah. I don't need you or her anymore. You'll be gone soon. And I'll be glad. How dare you? You're sick and tired of living. Leave me alone. You should have died long ago. There's a devil in you, destroying you. Why don't you die? Sorry your sister was unable to be here. Please convey my sympathies to her, Miss Hobbs. John, I'm frightened now that Father's gone. He knew he was dying, Sarah. That's why he sent for me. He wanted me to take care of you and Melanie. Th then take me with you. Take me away. I can't go back, not to that house. Melanie will be there. She'll need you. It's always Melanie. What do you mean? When any man comes to the house, there's only Melanie, no one else. That's not true, and you know it. You're upset. Maybe you'd be better off in town tonight. I'll get you a room. It's all right, John. I understand. Sarah. Mr. Baylor will drive you back to town, my friend. Thank you. If there's anything I can do for you. Thank you, I'm fine. It's Melanie I'm worried about.
understand each other, don't we, Nero? John. Melanie. I was worried about you today. We, we missed you at the funeral. Missed me? Oh, no, John. No one missed me. No one ever has. Father, mother. And Sarah, she hates me the most. I don't believe that. Why? You think she's weak and capable of hate? She's stronger than I am. She's always been stronger. For a long time, Father stood between Sarah and me, like a wall. But now he's gone, and I'll never go back to be locked in that small, ugly room. Locked in? Yes. <laughs> she didn't tell you what she does to me? Look, she tried to kill me, but I got away. I can't believe Sarah would do such a thing. You've both been under a great strain. Not me. Not anymore. I'm going to get everything I ever wanted. Everything, John. You and me. We need each other. What's the matter? We're alone, and Boston's so far away. I'm sorry. It's her, isn't it? It's Sarah! You call yourself a man wanting something as drab and sexless as Sarah? I despise you! And I pity you. Pity? Pity her, not me! Pity Sarah! She wants you too. But I'll destroy her first. <laughs> Sarah, are you all right? Yes. Where's Melanie? Up there. She can't get out. I've locked her in. She's here, waiting. Melanie's always waiting. She's there, on the bed, laughing at me. There is no Melanie. There never was. She never existed.
What are you doing? I'm going to burn this house down and her with it. Give me the lamp. No. No, it's the only way. There's a better way. Don't you see? I've got to destroy her. Sarah, don't. She won't leave me alone. Don't you understand? I've got to do it. I've got to get rid of her forever. All right, destroy her. Forget her, John. Someday you 